Welcome back to another video on Theme Park Tom and today we are building the Big One Coaster Dynamics Nano Coaster which is on sale at Blackpool Pleasure for £29.95. You'll find these on the retail store at retail.blackpoolpleasurebeach.com and today we're going to try and build this Big One Nano Coaster. I can see it's there retail at £29.95 as I just said. And it says here, actual assembled model to build it yourself. Of course, stand on its standard coasters are miniature replicas of the world's most iconic full rise, manufactured from high quality stainless steel and constructed on laser quartz acrylic base. These are easy to assemble models to require no glue to build. Just pull off the parts, insert them into the base, and bend the tabs to hold the coaster in place. It's that easy. And here's some facts there. The big battle, big one, it's a hyper coaster, drop of 63 meters, top speed of 119 kilometers per hour, and length of 1675 meters. You see, they've got the coast dynamics uh, website and email and all that good stuff. And I see required age, well, not required, but recommended age is 14 plus as well. So, I'm going to give you a time lapse on how to build this, and hopefully, it should be easy to build. Fingers crossed. So, let's get straight into it and open the package you see up there. You can just open this, pull this tab back, as you can just see. And then, inside, you will have the Coast Dynamics set. So there we go. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. There isn't. So let's put the box to one side for now. So I'll see here is the base plate. So I see the station's just there, the lift hill. I'll see the main course, the turnaround section, then the brake, mid course brake comes back there, then helix, and then back into the brake gun. So I'll see, we'll have to peel glass off, this off, this brown thing off in a minute. And I'll see this is the back of it. So I'll just put your slabs into the back as well. I'll just see that in a second, plaque to it over there. Here um, are the instructions. So we'll follow these instructions since I don't know how to build one of these. I never built a nano coaster before, so this will be my first time as well as you guys seeing how you build one of these. So we'll follow the instructions just over there. Here is the actual um well, yeah, the actual what, what's the word I'm looking for? The actual black, you know what I mean like. The track for it, should we just say. See, so just there, to both sides. Now, see, it, just up there, it says the big one. I guess that's going to slot in somewhere else, somewhere nicely as well. So, let's see, this is being. Oh, here we go. So, here are some helpful tips where we start. It's use nail clippers to cut all tabs connecting the track pieces to the metal sheet. Remove each piece completely from the sheet before beginning. Peel the paper back enough both sides to plastic piece, base. So, see, again, just this plastic. And then Pre-bend the track piece into general safety layout. This will make it easier to put the tabs into the slots. Now see, metal pieces that have sharp edges. So now I'm going to put a little time lapse in of me actually constructing it. So here we are now, just seeing me cutting off these track pieces with a nail clipper. It was hard to do, but I did enjoy doing it, but I did get a cut as well. But yeah, easy enough to do. So I've to do a bit of quick and update. Um, as you can see, I've got three of them out just here. Now see, I've got the stations just there. Now see, the big ones there. Uh, it's hard to get them out, obviously, because obviously you need nail clippers. But I'll show you. If it wants to focus. Oh, let's, put it, let's put it down. So these metal bits there that are sticking out, they're the things you have to cut it with. So you see the metal bits, for example, just there. You have to cut them out. So I have done three of them, as you can just see. Put them just down here. Obviously, it's not all finished. You still see where some of the metal bits are. So yeah, I've done, I've done three of them. Obviously, I'm not free to go, but I'll get back with you once I've done the other three. So here we are. We have now finished the cutting out process of the big one. It did take about thirty to forty five minutes to cut these out. Obviously, with the nail clippers, it is quite hard to do the nail clippers. But obviously, all, as you can see here, all the trap pieces are now being lovely cut out. So our next job will be to peel off this base and put the big one together. So here we go, just getting this. So I've done that side, let's get this side done. I'll say it's hard when you've got no nails to obviously get this brown protective film tape, we want to call it off. So obviously you've got no nails to help you, obviously, 
take it off, but as you can see, it just peels off like that. Oh no. As you can see, just like that. It should normally come off as one, but sometimes it doesn't. But then that's fine, just don't worry about it. Because you can still go back and peel it off. It's absolutely fine. You just take your time with it. I think this one's going to peel out like that anyway. But it's easy enough to come off anyway. As you can just see, peels off nicely. So next, I'll see our next stage now. Well, obviously, you put your natural right together now. So I'll finish off pulling this, these last three sections off. They go back to you just in a quick second. So there you go, both sides are now done. Obviously, you see, was that see marked out as well, so you know where the station goes just there. And see little, obviously the main break, the little me close break comes obviously just there as well. So yeah, um, obviously this is the plate now done. You can see me. <laughs> obviously this is the plate now done. So um, obviously we do have the instructions just over here. So I'm going to try and follow them as well. So now I'm going to put in a little time lapse whilst I try and I'll try and build this. So here we are now. We are now building this minor coaster. In case you didn't know, we actually had to fold the flaps underneath. And we had to bend it into position as well. But it was easy enough to do. Very easy. Evil. Very easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, as you see there, we're just doing the helix and going into the station. And now we're going to do towards the turnaround section of the ride. We're also the turnaround going towards the Grand National. And like I said before, it was easy enough to do. Just fold it in, push it in and fold the flaps in and down below. But a very easy, simple process. I would recommend this if you want to buy it. But very, very easy. And I would definitely buy the icon on when I do have the money and have the time as well. But I will do another video on the icon on if I do have time. But very, like I said, it's an easy process for an easy thing. So as you can now just see, we have now pretty much done the main majority of the big one track. To have a few more pieces to touch stuff like the big one logo, we'll see. Which is just here. The big one little, what it's called, little sign. You know, see then we do have the station to put on as well, which I'll do just now for you. But before we do that, I'm going to take a look at the back. So I'll see this where obviously all the slots had to happen. And I'll see when you have to put them in, um, I'll see I'll put these little flaps down so they don't move anywhere. There is a little bit of a problem with this. As you can just see, just there. Bit of a problem just there. Do a little focus or not. Just there. But I'm sure that'll get sorted out. We'll sort that out very shortly. But then there's just one where the station is there. But if one's put the station hood over that, it should be fine. But yeah, it's looking really good so far. And I'm going to say I am actually really enjoying doing this. So now I'm going to put the big one, the little sign. I'll say where's the nail clippers? Just because I'll say there's a bit just above there I need to cut off. But yeah, these nail clippers, they are quite, they are very hard to work with sometimes. Let's see, there we go. Let's see if you can see the slot. And you can see the slot just there, so that's where it'll go. Flips in nicely, just turn it upside down. And so you see it's poking out, then we just clap it in just like that. And then there you go. The big one signs in. Just about, make sure it's level, yep. Now it's time to put the station in, which we're just going to do now. I think what it says, you just bend the station, so I don't I think it's just, oh, just like that, is it? I'm guessing it's just like that. And then we just slot it in. Well, try to slot it in, should we just say. Just like that. Hopefully it'll fit. Obviously it will fit, but it's just getting it in there. I see that obviously there. The flaps need doing again, which I just do. And there you go. And that is it. I'll just give you, I'll, I'll just put some shots in of the big one finished, you know, so I'll start out that little magic just there as well. So as you can see here, now we do have the big one model now fully complete, and it is downstairs at this moment in time, in the living room. So I'm going to show you where, what it looks like, and obviously, in a bit more detail, I'll see the station there. Obviously it looks very good so far, I think that big one's starting to go down just a bit more, but I'm sure I'll do that in the next couple of, next couple of minutes or so, so what's happening in this video. Like I said, say before we do have some more finishing touches that we need to cut off, but as you see, it looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. I'm saying you need to pull it, push it out a bit more, but 
I do think this is worth the money. I think this is worth £29.95p. And I'll say, we'll be, I am getting the icon one now, as I said before. So hopefully, we will do another video of us building an icon, which is a bit more difficult than this one. But I'm sure it'll be easy enough for us to do on Theme Park Tom as well. So here we are, it's now finished, as you can just see here. It does look amazing when you think about it. Um, it was easy enough to build after, obviously, the incident with obviously all cutting out, cutting out the metal frames. But obviously, just that bit there needs to be fixed, like as I said just before. But the detail is absolutely amazing. I actually prefer this one to the Icon one, so it's in the shop as well. Um, Icon ones, I've been speaking to somebody, see, they're saying it's easy. But I don't know if it's easy or not, but I also need to polish it down a bit to see if some of the white bits are. I also need to chop some of the images off still, but yeah, it's looking good. For my for my likings, you know, see you see there as well. I like the detail of the big one, little sign there as well. You can see the gap there through the track. You can about to see it. Yeah, it's all no good. The station is good as well. So yeah, not been too bad of a build. I may get the icon one. I'm not sure yet. If I do, obviously I'll build it as well. You can see the time recording. This is the first YouTube channel that's actually built this as well. But um. Yeah, um, obviously, as well, we do have the big one, her 3D model as well. This is the retro version, obviously, as you can just about see. I will do more reviews on these, um, obviously, 3D models as well in the next another video. But on Sunday, so tomorrow, at the time of filming this, I will be at park with our good friend Sam, as you know, Big Sam, as we call him on our YouTube channel. So obviously, it will be, will be with Big Sam. So, obviously, he, if we are, this video goes out tonight, which hopefully it should do, we'll see you on part tomorrow. We're there about 12 o'clock doing a vlog, and also doing some of the changes as well. Obviously, I was there on the Monday, the day of, day of opening, and on the Saturday and Sunday. I did do some film on the Sunday, but it's not enough for a video, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, obviously, I'll do a vlog with Sam as well tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm actually happy with the big one, 3D, 3D mini replica. Well, we need whatever you want to call it, make sure replica of the track. No, so I will go into more details on what random vehicles and models I do have at my house as well. I'll do that in another video later on in the week. But yeah, that's it for theme park Tom for today. Thank you ever so much for watching today's videos and please make sure you subscribe. Leave a like and comment down below what do you think of this 3D model and will you be purchasing it at £29.95p. Then I will also leave the link in the description down below so you can buy it as well from the retail site. Obviously £29.95p. So yeah, that's it. That's me done. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next theme part on video.